today my most popular blog post slash YouTube video ever has been this one right here, which is how to calculate your body fat percentage at home. You don't have to use any calipers, you don't have to submerge yourself in water, and I've really been appreciating all the views, all the thumbs up I've gotten, but there's been one little problem that I've noticed and that you might have noticed if you've looked at the comments. The problem is that some people are getting some really strange numbers when they try to work through the equation that I gave. And today, I'm going to do something about it and actually walk through that equation with you so that if you are one of those people that goes through that equation and gets a negative result or a weird result, you'll be able to figure out why that was and how to actually figure out what your body fat percentage is. And if you haven't met me before, my name is Catherine Basu. This is Titan and Tone Tuesday, and today's episode is Fitness Math with Fit Armadillo. All right, here we go. Our first math lesson ever, some fitness math with Fit Armadillo. First things first, you wanna make sure you are ready to go. So make sure you do watch that first video. It is my most popular video of all time, after all, so that you can learn how to find your measurements. Once you find them, you wanna check your units. This is a common mistake that you might encounter. What units do you want to have? Everything needs to be in centimeters or kilograms, not inches, pounds, or something else. So make sure you've found your measurements properly and they're in the correct units. That's part number one. And then the second thing to realize is that there's actually two equations that we have here. One is going to be for body density. And then from that equation, we're going to be able to calculate our body fat percentage using a second equation. And What's also important to realize is that there are male and female versions of that first equation, the body density equation. So you do want to make sure you're looking at the correct equation for your gender. Now, of course, we are going to go over all this together with a real sample problem, but those are some common items that could be easy to overlook but are really going to affect your result. All right, so now that we have gone over those basic tips in that first slide, let's actually get going. Let's do this thing and let's look at some sample data. And this sample data is actually data from a real fan of Fit Armadillo who sent it in, and the sample is from Mithun or Mithun Kalvala. And please feel free to correct me on how I'm saying your name. For the rest of the video, I'm gonna call you MK, so I'm not entirely embarrassing myself. But we have some data there, and that's what we're gonna use. So MK, if we think back to those key points I mentioned in that first slide he does have everything in the correct units kilograms and centimeters so a plus for that one thing i might have you check on mk is redoing your hip and abdomen measurements because they're usually not the same so that might affect the result i'm going to get for you as you go through today but just check on those and now you'll know how to figure everything out on your own after watching this video and then we also need to make sure we're using the correct equation for body density. So I have that body density equation for men up there. So I know where to put those values. And then I'm just gonna plug them in. That's our first step. So whether you're a male or a female, make sure you find the right equation and then plug in the numbers where they're supposed to go, right? So make sure that the weight's actually in the weight spot. It's pretty obvious, right? So that's our first step, plugging in our actual values into the correct equation based on our gender. Once we've done that, so that's our first step here, we need to remember something called PEMDAS, or if you're a US student, you might remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Basically, both of those are just a way for us to remember the order in which we do operations, just math in a given problem. So what that little reminder has us realize is that we need to do anything in parentheses first, exponents are second. Multiplication and division are actually the same level, so we'd have to do them after parentheses and or exponents, but from there, the one we do first is determined by where it comes in the equations, so the ones more to the left are going to come first. And addition and subtraction are similar to that multiplication and division part, so it's not really all addition first, it's whichever one comes first going left to right they're of equal value. So 
in this equation, we don't have any parentheses or exponents, but we do have multiplication. So what we're going to do is find those places and do the multiplication first. So we have four places where we're going to have to multiply. And I'm going to take us to a new slide so we can do that. So here we go, right? Everything's still boxed out with our sample data. And we're going to do the M part of PEMDAS first, multiply first. So now you can see I have that first number is still there because it was not involved in a multiplication operation. But then I have four new numbers and I got those by multiplying. So 0 0.00085 times 75 should be 0 0.06375 and so on and so forth. Going down the equation, you can check my, hopefully my math is okay there. But that's our first step. So after we put in our own values, multiplying where we saw multiplication. And then the next part of PEMDAS that we are going to have to deal with is the A and S. So we have addition and subtraction here. But the order we're going to do those in is as we see them left to right. So the next piece of math we had to do according to that rule of PEMDAS, order of operations, was to add 0 0.06375 to 1.22142. And that would give us that first number I have written down there now, 1.28517. So that was our first addition. As you go left to right, now we have a bunch of subtraction, and we're going to do that in order from left to right. So subtracting 0 0.051 from that first number, subtracting again, and subtracting one final time until we get our body density. So feel free to go back and look at this a little bit more, check my math if you need to, but now we've gone through that first equation, body density. And we did that by first subbing out our values, our measurements for the ones in the general equation, multiplying where we saw multiplication, and then adding and subtracting going from left to right. So we have 1.02522 as our body density. This is not the body fat percentage yet because we need equation number two. So equation number two is where we're actually going to calculate our body fat percentage, and this is the equation we need to use. All right, so here's our equation up top. First step is to sub out our value for that body density placeholder. And then remember PEMDAS again. So the first thing we need to do is division. So we're going to have to do 495 divided by 1.02522. And we get 482.82, and that's a rounded value. Then we'll be able to do the second part, which is subtract 450. And now we'll have our body fat percentage. So the body fat percentage that is calculated here is about 32.82%. All right, so now we know how to calculate body fat percentage for men. For women, it's going to be a little bit different because the first thing we need to find, the body density, is going to use a different equation. So there's actually different things that women need to find. Women do not need to factor in their weight in order to figure out their body density and therefore body fat percentage but they do need to put in their height, which will be in centimeters, and their age, which will be in years. And I'm not gonna go through this whole equation with you with a sample, but I'm going to mention a few things to keep an eye on here when you're doing this if you are a woman. So first, this is the equation you wanna use first. So ladies, when you look at this equation, you're gonna notice that there's that little squared sign above the second time you're going to input your abdomen circumference. And that means we have to remember PEMDAS again here. So you can't just write in your abdomen value a second time. You need to follow this order of operations and multiply that value by itself. That's what that number two means as the exponent before you go on and do all your multiplication in the equation. So that's just one piece that's a little bit different besides the actual measurements you're going to get. Other than that, we're still going to follow PEMDAS, so our next thing would be to do all the multiplication that takes place, and then going from left to right, doing our addition and subtraction. And that's going to conclude our episode of Titan and Tone Tuesday for you today, some fitness math with Fit Armadillo. I hope you found it helpful, but I would love to know what you really think of it, so feel free to leave a comment below the video. 
And don't forget to go and stop by the blog post for this video if you're just watching it on YouTube because I do have a special gift over on the blog that will make things even more easy. So do go stop by over there. Let me know how this video helped you or if it didn't help you, you know, give me some feedback. I'm, I can take it. If this video did help you, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up on YouTube and to share it with a friend because sharing is caring. As always, thank you so much for stopping by for another episode of Titan and Tone Tuesday. I hope you have a great week, awesome workouts, and that you stay in touch. Let me know anything else you would like to see, just like our friend Claire did. Thank you, Claire, for requesting this video. I really do appreciate it. It was definitely needed. I love having you as a fan. So if you are out there wishing for something, let me know either in the comments or or by sending me an email. I'd love to hear from you. And I hope to see you next time for another episode of Titan and Tone Tuesday. Thanks so much. Bye.